Hi, I'm George. Welcome to my foot pain series. The first video is going to be about bunions, bunion prevention, or if you already have them, how to alleviate that pain and prevent them getting worse. This is a, an exercise to practice to either alleviate, uh, prevent bunions from getting worse or to um, prevent them from happening at all. Um, it can be done with a soft ball in between the ball of the foot here to kind of take the tension off the, the joint. But I'm going to do it here just with the feet together to show that you can do it without any equipment. Um, what I'm trying to do is keep my ankles close together, the ball of the foot, and I'm going to try and touch the big toes together. You can help them along if you are not able to get them in contact. So then what we're working on is lifting the big toes without losing contact so that they stay um, towards each other. So they stay in that direction that is moving them away from the other toes. So that's about as far as I can go. I can keep lifting my, my big toes, but can you see that the, the direction that they go in is not... Um, beneficial so I've, I've kind of lost the use of the muscle that I'm trying to target so I'm going to try and keep them together as I lift and then when I bring them down I'm going to press the pads of the big toes down so that the ball of my foot just comes away from the ground a tiny bit so I'll show you that again there and then I'm going to try and lift the little toes Can you see how the big toes try and creep away from each other? So you want to try and really keep them in contact as you do that. And then you can swap. So you're coming into that lift of the big toes. It's quite hard work to do it properly and you'll feel it in muscles, in your legs maybe. All right, so like I said, if you can't keep the toes together, you can do one foot at a time. You can kind of help, help the toe along. So I'm going to kind of push here just on the inside of my um, big toe. So I can show you on this, this foot. So if I push in there and I, I help the big toe along, then it might help you to keep it in alignment as you're coming into that lift and lower. All right, try it. If you get a bit of, you, if you have your hand here, you'll feel these muscles here engaging. Um, and if you get cramp, then that's a good sign because it means that you're targeting the muscle that you're, you're trying to get. So a brief explanation is that we've got a muscle that comes along here that is responsible for pulling the toe that way and another muscle that goes across all the other toes. It's way stronger. It's attached to lots of connective tissue. So the toe is much more likely to want to go in towards the others. That's not helped by most footwear that has a narrow toe box. So we want to try and encourage the toe going back away from the other toe so it stays straight. Um, and we want to encourage strength in that muscle that helps it to do that. If you're interested, it's called the abductor halysis. Um, if you're not, it doesn't matter. <laughs> you can just feel it working here and yeah, play around with whether you can lift the big toe in a straight line. It's not about lifting it up. It's about making sure it stays in alignment as you lift it up. Okay, that was the exercise. Thanks very much for watching. I really hope you found it of value. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to get in touch uh, or check out my other videos.